What do you wish you knew before you bought your house? It's Katie Clancy, Chief House Hawker at the Cape House at William Ravis, and I am here to tell you about the things that people wish they knew before they bought their home. Now, I put a question out to ask first time home buyers, but then I had all kinds of other home buyers give their comments and came up with some really good stuff. So, first of all, they all, the overwhelmingly said, you are not buying a new house. There will be something wrong with it. Furthermore, no matter how much you have it inspected, looked at, turned inside out, they will miss something and you will find it out afterward. That really stinks, but there are ways to protect yourself from the negative effects of that. First, you might consider getting a home warranty. A home warranty is like basically insurance against things breaking on your house. It's, it's sometimes you feel like you're you know you're playing like at the casino like oh I'm gonna get any anything out of this but I've absolutely had clients have like HVAC systems just fall apart and then pay very little to get them fixed because they had a warranty a lot of these warranties will cover everything from like the dishwasher to the doorbell so might be worth considering there's some pretty inexpensive um, options up there um, one thing that people don't consider is you should plan like if you're a first time home buyer, you need to understand that every year you are going to be paying some percentage of your purchase price towards repairs and maintenance. So some people say 3%, some people say 5%. I have seen, so my husband is a builder, we'll have people buying second homes even, they're putting 10% into the home to really personalize it right off the bat in the first year. But every year you should budget 3% or so for repairs and maintenance. Uh, what else can I tell you? Oh, they said, you know, do, DIY is awesome and it's great, but you've got to remember when to pull a permit, when to call an expert. And a good rule of thumb is steer clear of plumbing and electrical. Um, because when you go to sell down, well, first of all, safety, but also when you go to sell, you don't want to be doing like hack homeowner work that's going to come back and bite you when a buyer comes in and does their home inspection. On the topic of mortgages, a lot of people don't realize that you can shop around, not just for good rates on mortgages, but mortgages come in all shapes, sizes, flavors, every lender, every bank, they all have something different to offer. And it changes all the time. The laws change, the interest rates change, the companies change. So I recommend talking to at least two or three different lenders also, keep in mind the person that you're working with, that actual contact, your mortgage loan officer, is someone who's going to be very involved in the outcome of your purchase. So you want to make sure it's someone that you can talk to, that communicates well, even better if they know your real estate agent, so you have a team working on your behalf. Next, I told you before I made reference, nobody is more invested in this purchase than you. Okay, so trust the people you're working with. If you chose a good team, you probably have a good team. Trust them, but don't feel bad about verifying things either. So useful links that you can use. Most cities and towns have an assessor's online database where there's public info, more than you would think, about every property. Ownership history, uh, taxes, permit history, dimensions, bedrooms, size, lot size, and you you might see things in there that you didn't see in the listing there may be discrepancies there might be things that you really need to know or it might be exactly what you saw in the listing and just what you thought it was but it's a good place for you to be looking and also to be checking to make sure that your house is always up to date because you know what humans put that information in and sometimes there's error um Crime data you can find out by checking with your local police department. Also, some of the portals, or you can just Google, I think, um, crime heat map is another way you can find out sort of what goes on in your neighborhood. And finally, this is one of my favorite secrets. It's not secret, but I was very happy when I discovered it, is GIS maps, Geological Information Survey. I don't know. If you Google, Google GIS map for the town that you are buying in, you can see or more precise lot lines, nothing is as precise as a survey. Um, zoning, flood maps, very important where we live here on Cape Cod, really all sorts of different layers then you can put on that property and really get a better understanding of the context of where it is and what you know rules you might have to go by. 
very interesting GIS maps. And you can turn it to satellite. You can just do roads. Um, you can also get stuck in there like you like a Netflix binge. But anyway, um, ask to review all documents before you sign them. The first time you see a document should not be the time that you're expected to sign it. Just about every piece of paper that you get as a buyer is long, involved with tiny little words. Don't be afraid to ask for these things ahead of time. A buyer contract, a sample offer to purchase. By the way, it should have sample written all over it because if you go try to use that yourself without an agent, that could go badly. Um, a purchase and sale document. If you're in Massachusetts, we have a two contract phase of purchasing so that offer contract, if you come from another state, looks a little bit weak, right? The purchase and sale is where all the guts are. Um, mortgage documents and your, your actual closing disclosures for your mortgage um, by law have to be shown to you three days, at least three days before your closing. So you have plenty of time to review them. If you're getting close, it's okay to remind your lender or your lawyer that you'd like to see those documents. That's those are the people who have access to those. Okay, those were the big things that people said. Do you have more? Are you a home buyer? Did you recently buy? Do you have more advice that you would give? Share it in the comments or DM me and let me know. And if you want any more information on buying or selling a Cape House, follow me here.